Luisa is a writer and producer, and she has such an exquisite story to tell. We're going to get to dive in and hear more about her journey today through dating and love as a high-achieving, successful woman who's based in LA. Just a handful of months ago, you were in a completely different place in your dating and love life. Tell us where you were prior to starting the program, what dating and love looked like for you and how you felt about the process. Yeah, I was in a completely different place. I was in this kind of slump of not wanting to, I wanted to date, but I didn't have the enthusiasm that I had maybe had before. And so my head was there, but my heart wasn't really there. I was looking at dating as something that I felt I should do in order to achieve the goal that I had, which is I knew I wanted a partner. I knew I wanted to settle down. I knew I wanted to eventually have a family and kids. Like I was very in touch with my dream and what I was shooting for, but the actual day-to-day of how to accomplish that was feeling heavy and not fun. And I was feeling a little hopeless actually, because I was swiping and not connecting with people or the people I connected with didn't feel like they were the kind of person that I was actually seeking to attract. And I was starting to tell myself all of those narratives that kind of creep in when I'm in a low point when it comes to dating, which is, you know, maybe all the good guys are taken or maybe they just don't live in LA or maybe there's something wrong with me, like all of those things. And I was just feeling pretty low and pretty just like heavy. What needed to shift inside of you for you to say, you know what, enough's enough. Mm -hmm. I gotta prioritize this. I'm very happy with my career, but because I'm so happy with my life and my career, it it's all I want to spend my time doing. And so it has been a lot harder for me historically to justify spending that time going on first dates with people that I don't know if they're worth quote unquote my time I knew I actually came to this program with a lot of education about what I needed to do to bring this about but something was still missing and I and the thing that actually really got me originally Lee was you talking about the masculine and feminine energies because for me especially as a professional woman I feel like I show up in the professional world with a lot more masculine energy and feminine energy. But in my personal life, that might not entirely be true. And so part of the reason why maybe I was not attracting the kind of masculine men that I was, that I wanted was because I wasn't showing up in that, in fully centered and comfortable in my feminine energy. And learning about that from you guys has been completely mind-blowing because that was the one element that I don't think I'd really thought about or heard about before. I do feel like the program really helps with my mindset shift. For me, the shift really had to do with my own relationship with myself and my relationship with my own feminine energy. My own sexuality and sensuality was something that I was feeling particularly disconnected with. And the shift for me that I think made the most impact was really just the shift to have fun with it the sense of play to reconnect with that sense of play and and to let myself off the hook for things that I viewed as being how I should be doing it again quote unquote should versus how I was showing up at any given moment not long into the journey you met your now partner how many months into the program were you and tell us that story of meeting him I'm, I went on my first date with my boyfriend, now boyfriend, June 14th. So like a month and a half in. And I will say it, w- it all happened pretty quickly. I was doing the work on myself and not really going on a lot of dates because I felt like I needed to connect with that work first. And then I feel like there was a moment that I felt ready And I started really engaging with the apps a bit more. And I think I had three dates in one week and he was one of them. And so anyway, yes, month and a half. So now you meet him. Tell me what that initial experience is from first date 
to your, to the time when, when you establish commitment and exclusivity? So, yeah, that was a, a little over a month as well. So a month and a half into the program, I meet him. A month and change later, we decide to be exclusive. He was ready to be exclusive before I was because I was finally enjoying the dating process again. I was, this is everything that I was looking for. I was enjoying everything I was learning from each of the guys that I was dating. I was really in just luxuriating in the process and enjoying it for the first time, truly. And then I meet this guy who is only dating me. And at first that kind of freaked me out. But instead of doing what I might have done in the past and withdrawing or feeling, I shouldn't want to say threatened, but just feeling too, letting the freak out take over because he is more invested than maybe I was at the time. We talked about it and he, I told him very frankly, and I think in the past I was afraid of these kinds of conversations of being truly honest with somebody but I told him very frankly that I was dating other people and he was not thrilled with that but handled it like a champ like he really did he just sat with it he understood that I he couldn't ask me to be further ahead than where I was but he also wasn't going to diminish his own feelings either and so we just talked it through and I said, listen, I will be open and honest. And he was very wonderful and held that space for me, but also was very clear that he wouldn't wait forever because nor should he. And I told him it wouldn't take me forever. I just could feel my heart opening. So I slept on it and then I woke up the next morning and I still felt that feeling. And I was just suddenly, I'd, why am I dating other people? I want to do this with him and he wants to do this with me. And this is what I've been looking for. What am I doing here? And I decided because I wanted to tell him in person to wait for a couple of days to tell him because it felt like a conversation you have in person. And he was just like, yeah, I knew. I knew before you did, but that's okay. But it was cute. It was really cute. What a great story. And there's so much that comes through when I hear you share it, which is, the moment you decided to let yourself have fun and enjoy the process and slow down was the moment that you called him in. Yeah. And it happened faster than you thought it would. Oh, so much faster than I thought. Yeah, so much so that you were like, whoa, hold on. Wait, am I really going to stop the dating thing right now? Because I just started liking it. Right. And there he was. There he was. That's a testament to... What happens outside of us when we create alignment inside of us? That's a huge key. We can do a million and one things. We can go on more dates. We can seek therapy. We can read books. We can talk to girlfriends. We can seek matchmakers. We can do affirmations. We can do all the things. And most of us have done all the things, myself included. And when we just do the one thing, which is really tune into how we want to be feeling, how we think we're going to feel when we have the man, and allow ourselves to feel that way now and continue taking aligned action, of course, then it happens often faster than we think. And if not faster than we think, then we at least really enjoy the process way more than we would have if we kept grabbing for things outside of us to try and create the result. I will also add that I also released that, that pressure of the time. Right. The second I, I released myself of that timeline pressure, is when he showed up. And that was the frustration that I had is, I'm sorry, I just let go of the fact that I wanted to find someone quickly and you show up, what's going on? I imagine the relationship you're in now is unlike any relationship you've been in before. What is this relationship like? It is the first time that I feel so completely comfortable in a relationship with another person. I feel like I can be myself and feel like I can and not editing or second guessing myself. I trust him with my feeling. One of the things that really stood out to me early on was that he would check in and ask me how I'm feeling in a way that 
not only had other people not done for me in a dating relationship capacity before, but I don't know that I'd ever really done for myself to that degree because I am the kind of person who's very good at showing up as, as the ideal version of myself. I'm very good. I'm very good at putting on a mask. And so the fact that I feel comfortable and safe enough with him to let that mask fall and trust that if there's an issue, we'll talk about it and we'll figure it out together. That is something that's new for me that I haven't ex experienced before. And I really value and appreciate that because I think he's done a lot of work on himself in a very different way than I have. No, that's beautiful. I just want to say how touched I am to see how deeply held and loved, cared for, safe, heard, understood, and cherished you feel in this relationship. Well, thank you, Ronnie. I can feel what having a solid floor underneath your feet in the form of this connection, this relationship does for you. And the whole point why we're doing all this is so that we can create a world where more women get to feel this. Yeah. And when they feel it, they really are able to come alive and actualize to a level that wasn't really possible before. And that's the world that we all want to live in. I would not be in the relationship that I'm in if I hadn't done this program. I just know that.